Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is an interactive video lesson about how to solve radical equations. So what's going to happen is on the first page, you're going to take notes with me, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own, and at the end you can see how you did. All right, so how do you solve radical equations? Well, let's first do a quick little review about just how to solve equations. Um, and if you take this box and divide it in half, like this, all right? And over here, let's make a, a list of the inverse operations. So let's, let's, let's write inverse. All right, so what you probably heard before is the opposite of addition is subtraction, right? And then the opposite of subtraction is addition. And then the opposite of multiplication is division. And then finally, the opposite of division is multiplication. So I'm sure those are ones you've heard before. And maybe the saying, you know, what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the other side when you're solving. But today we're going to focus on the inverse of a radical. All right. So what you do to get rid of the radical sign is you have to square it. All right. So n squared. So let me show you a couple examples. So here we have the square root of n equals five. Now, can you think of what number n has to be? So when you take the square root of n, you get five. So that would be 25, right? So we need to somehow make this a 25. So what you do to get rid of the square root sign or the radical sign is you square it. All right, but what you do to one side, you have to do to, to the other side. So I'm gonna now square this side. So when I square this, this now just turns just into an n. And then five squared means five times five, which is now 25, and there's your answer, all right? So the way you solve radical equations is you is you square both sides of the equation. All right, let's do this one now. Okay, here we have the square root of n minus 3 equals 10. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to square this side and then square this side. So when I square this side, I, now I just get n minus 3, which is going to equal 10 squared is 100. Now I'm going to solve for n by adding 3 to both sides which means our solution is gonna be n equals 103. And if I plug this number back into the, into the original equation, 103 take away three is 100, and the square root of 100 is indeed 10. All right, so when you pause the video and try the your turn now problems, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do these practice problems. So to save a little bit of time, I've done the workout already. So the first solution should have been k equals 64. Again, the way I did that is I squared both sides. So that's that one. And then this one should have been k equals 44. Remember, for any equation, you can always plug in the value to make sure it's right, right? So 44 plus 5 is 49, and the square root of 49 is 7. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?